That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Scientists at the University of Leicester Space Research Center are working hard to discover the key to human survival on Mars. In the 17th century, it was realized that Mars was a bit Earth-like and that it had seasons, it's got polar caps. So the question has always been, just how Earth-like is it? Has there ever been life on it? Is there life on it now? Um, could we send humans there to have some sort of a manned base? So Mars, over the last few billion years, has lost its atmosphere. It's really exposed to solar radiation. So the environment today is very, very hostile to life. So ultimately, when we send humans to Mars, as I believe we will, um, the radiation environment is something that the astronauts are going to have to be protected against. So we've really got to know what might conceivably happen. Stephen McLean is one of the researchers working to find out what could happen to humans when exposed to radiation in deep space and on Mars. And the answers could come from an unlikely source, worms. There's a lot of shared um, genes between uh, certain species of worms and, uh, and humans, so we're hoping if we understand how radiation affects um, uh, genetics and survivability for worms, it can help us also extrapolate that to humans. And that's part of the experiments we're doing. This is called a deep space petri pod, and these wells hold about 200 microliters of fluid uh, and air, so it's basically a living quarters for, for worms. So this, uh, and multiples of these, we're hoping to be sent to, um, to space on spaceships uh, to help measure radiation exposure to the worms and hopefully come up with mitigating methods to, to try to limit exposure. Despite the European Space Agency's Mars Express orbiter recently revealing what scientists believe could be a body of liquid on Mars, Human exploration, let alone settlement on the planet, might not be happening anytime soon. My guess is we'll see it maybe in the 2040s, but it'll be in stages. So we're going to need all sorts of technology demonstrator missions. Um, there's all sorts of things we haven't done yet. We haven't sent a rocket to Mars yet, which can then leave Mars again and get back to Earth orbit. That's a big thing we've got to do in probably the 2020s. And then there's the whole question of what we call in situ resources. In other words, we've got to go to Mars and we've got to use what we find there, notably water, for drinking water and uh, rocket fuel. So all sorts of things uh, need to be studied and planned out over the next few decades.